Hello everybody, welcome back. If you're returning and thank you to the new subs here, uh, welcome. If you're new, my name is Jesse. I'm gonna bust out more love messages for the collective. This one goes on the October playlist as always. Welcome if you feel like scoping anything out. I have playlists here. Scope it all out, binge watch whatever, and share anything. And if you like it, thanks. And if you wanna comment, thank you. And a big shout out to my homegirl, Miko from Miko Chic. She's an excellent tarot reader. She's an amazing, sweet soul. Love you so much. Thank you for always doing that, for giving me a shout out. And with that being said, good morning. Coffee time. All right. I'm going to go ahead and smudge out these decks. As usual, this clears the energies of the cards and helps me focus. It helps me focus for channeling. There's new subs, I think, in the last month. Honestly, I want to say like 50 new subs here. Dang. I. It's mind-blowing. I love you all. Thank you so much. I'm smudging up these star temples. These are oracle cards, and I'm going to clarify them with Tarot of the Cloisters once again by Michelle Levitt. Levitt. And somebody else. All right. Smudged, cleared, ready. Let's begin. All right. Ding, let's begin. All right, see how many I can get through. It's gonna be approximately 20 minute reading. That's great, a clump, boom, right? Just like that too, just like that. Okay, we have three, that's perfect. Oh, look at this one, Salieno. 22, the holy child, starseed. Don't make me cry. I am a divine child of the universe. All of you viewing right now, I'm talking to some star seeds, okay? Yeah, do your research. That might resonate with you. Angels, basically, earth angels. Mm. Old souls. Yeah. In the collective. 22 means I love you. And to anyone with children, yeah, that's your heart. That's everything, right? It's the pearl. It's precious, like the pearl. Cute, beautiful little child here. It's adorable. All right. I am a divine child of the universe. We all are. And we grow up and we forget our childlike energy. Some people do. Forget it. Don't forget. Don't forget that part of you. The one that's excited about life. The one that wakes up like, yay, what's going to happen today? Yeah, that kind of thing, okay? All right, let's go ahead and clarify with one not facing me. Okay. Oh, all right. It's a seven of staves, okay? This is your fire tribe. In the reverse, all right. Hmm. Uh, this is defensive energy, okay? Kind of back off type of thing. Can also be protective of oneself energy. Stay away from me. I'm not, not okay, all right? But here, it's like somebody coming out of this stay away from me energy, this back off kind of thing. And opening up to the universe. Mm -hmm. Allow it to speak to you guys. Not to be all corny, but right. Uh, tarot for me has been an eye opener in this way. It has led me on a spiritual journey. I see more star seeds. People who see things. Mm hmm You see. You see. You look ahead. Okay? Yeah. 
Seven could be a significant number for some of you. July, also standing out, okay? I love you. Loving yourself, who you are, your inner child, loving your inner child, getting that. Mm -hmm. Defend yourself, but... Um, yeah, always stand up for yourself, of course, but this shows me more of an opening to, yeah, I'm opening my eyes, okay? Yeah, all right, that's what I'm getting. Okay, all right, pretty simple. Oh, pff, look what's on the bottom of the deck. It's the Ace of Staves. Once again, your fire tribe. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So a lot of passion here for you because you're divine you're divine mm -hmm. yeah a lot of passion for you yeah you're a gift to this world is what i heard oh my gosh yeah star seeds again some of you are highly intuitive individuals you do tarot as well and you're really good at it it's like it speaks your language, right? Welcome. That that's what I hope that I do here. Connect to you guys, okay? On this in this way. Yeah. May or may not resonate. No, take what does, leave the rest, as always. Okay. Alcyon. Alcyon. I just can't pronounce it. I just don't know how to pronounce this every time, you guys. Eight. The Empress of the Night. Finale. After the storm, I am more I I emerge a shiny new star. Star Aquarius. This whole deck is called the Star Temple. So you're here throughout, okay? Could could be talking to an Aquarius or you could be dealing with one. Oh man. Eight is also significant for some of you. You can also talk about the eternity, eternal, that life keeps moving on and on, on and on. It doesn't stop. Mm -hmm. The empress of the night. Empress. Okay, the empress. All the queens are here as well. After the storm, I emerge a shiny new star. I'm talking to some gorgeous, stunning redheads out here. Masculine, feminine. I love that beautiful color. My mom was a redhead in in high school, and then it started getting darker. But look at that beautiful color. And red is desire. Red is passion as well. Okay, bringing all kinds of things out here. Let's go ahead and clarify the Empress of the Night. Empress with a few, a couple. All right. Mm, my gosh, Empress, energy, yeah, you have it all. This one always shows us the four fixed signs in the astrology chart, which are Aquarius, once again, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo, all right? All the elements are represented in a way here. And this is your best friend, Divine Masculine. It's Divine Feminine is your best friend. She or he is your world. Yeah, this person really brings you out of the storm. Yes, brings you out of the storm. I love it. I love it. Oh, wow. Okay. And then the Eight of Swords, um, stuck energy, okay? Eight again. Aquarius, here once more, oh, along with um, Gemini and Libra. Happy birthday. Look at these two side by side. I want you to see how it matches. Do you see this? Look at their, the way that they're both presented. head 
on my shoulder. Like I, I feel like this, you know what this means to me is nurturing yourself, mm -hmm. focusing on you for, you know, if you have kids, obviously they're number one, but you know, something that I learned when I was in my Lamaze class is that mom and dad, you have to be okay. You have to be okay so you can be on it for your babies, right? So this is about self-care to me, right? Mm. Somebody wants you to know that you're my world. You're my world. Yeah. Oh, beautiful, guys. Okay, so this Eight of Swords is about stuck energy. Hmm. Oh, my gosh. Again, what is going on? Do you see all three of these doing the same thing here? Head. Here. On the side. Head. Side. Head to the side. I... I don't understand what that what they're trying to tell me here. What I think that's what I I'm being led to say. Self care. It's like, right? This. Yeah. Yes. Divine feminine. This is your energy. Okay. All over it. Okay. All right. Beautiful guys. Okay. One more to clarify. Again, that word, A-L-Y-C-Y-O-N-E. Alkaiwan. Alkaiwan. I just, you guys, it's so hard for me to, under, uh, to, to read some of these words. Again, we have another one. Okay, nine. Ecopius the seer. The seer. Visionary, a chart. I chart the stars, signs, and symbols to craft magic. We have some magicians here. Also, intuitives, star seeds. I, I'm also called to say warlock. Okay, dude, I'm not here to judge you. All right, and if people think that I'm a witch, that's okay. I, I can't say no. I'm not. I don't know what what to say about that. It's what you feel that you want to it's it's what you believe that works for you. I'm talking to warlocks out here. Masculine? Mhm. Mm I sure am. Yeah. And that's not a bad thing. That's a great thing. Ooh, it's art. You know, the what you do is art. Mm -hmm. Magicians, honestly. Like, I see somebody on a stage. Seriously, that kind of thing. Hmm. We have the raven. We have the raven. Birds are messengers, okay? I love how this came out, comes out after the last reading yes the, it's the crow thing you guys hmm very interesting a copious the seer visionary okay there's signs and symbols pointing you in your direction on your on your path divine masculine a little birdie told you so all right and black is feminine energy so it's like this feminine leads you leads you to believe in things that you probably some of you grew up being afraid of your gift because you just question your sanity you know and it's not like there's not a lot of information for children about intuitives, clairvoyance, empaths, star seeds. They don't teach that in school, okay? 
So take this or leave it. But I feel like you have always been a visionary since a young, since you've been young, divine masculine. This is your energy big time. And the signs and the symbols that you've received in your life have guided you to this journey of your craft. Mm, your craft, okay? I'm talking to some some serious um, people with serious gifts here. Yeah, yes. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're, I'm talking to a mediums out here too. Wow, this is beautiful, guys. Definitely talking to masculine energy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Masculine energy. All right. Wow. All right. And let's clarify it with one. Okay. The King of Pentacles. So, mm, yeah. It's like not believing in your craft or questioning your sanity. I'm getting that too here. Okay. The gift. You've always been gifted. It's always been there. Some of you don't know that you have this gift. And it's time for you to do maybe a little more research into things. And kings do not belong in the reverse. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. You're here, your Taurus is mentioned again. You know, the only cup energy we have in this reading is uh, you, Scorpio. Okay, that does not mean that Pisces and uh, Cancerians aren't here. Okay, it's about the element. All right, reached a time limit, guys, so I'm going to close it here. A, time to turn this in the upright position, divine masculine, and start believing in yourself and your gifts because you're gifted. Mm-hmm. Love this message for you, Divine Masculine. You really came through here. That's all I have for you. And until next time, peace, love, and light. Bye-bye.